I've never had, I've always been up against it because I'm a, the type of person that believe in sharing, expressing love and caring. And, and most people don't like that. They don't want that. They want something exciting, you know? Uh, I don't have any friends uh, because the type of work I'm doing, they don't like it. They don't, they don't, if, if a guy tell me to come go to Las Vegas, I say no. If he tell me to uh, get some dope and sell some or buy some or smoke some, no. Tell me to chase women, no. You give me a pile of money if I do it, no. So it's, a, it's a no with me. And, 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 and I, I don't have any friends because of that. Everybody, everybody want to be in the, in the, in the, in the, I don't know the proper word for it, but everybody want to be in the, in the, the, super duper stuff, way, way out stuff. Uh, a lot of them wind up in jail, and then they in jail say, you know what? If I had listened to you, I wouldn't have been in jail. <laughs> he said that. He was uh, selling dope back there. Prostitute and all that. Just in the last three or four months. And I had opened up to them, as I said, trying to help them. So that bothered me. It took a lot out of me. But then I read in the Bible where Jesus, they did the same thing as Jesus. Matter of fact, they did worse. And that's what, that's how I restored my uh, sanity by saying, well, hey, this guy, uh, these guys, uh, they doing me about one, one percent of what they did Jesus. See? So then that, that builds me back up to let me know that if you're going to work for the Lord, you're going to have to take the beating.